Freshwater fishing from a boat is fun. It's relaxing. It's a great way to connect with family and friends. Plus, there's always the chance you'll reel in the big one. And because there are so many freshwater lakes and rivers around, you're probably not too far from great places to boat and fish. Basic fishing takes very little gear. A spin caster or closed face reel with a medium action graphite casting rod are good for beginners. They're reasonably priced and along with lures or bait, enough to get you started. Once you've attached your lure or bait, reel up to within a few inches of the rod tip. Point the rod tip at the target you want to hit. With your thumb, push and hold the button. Then in one smooth motion, swing the rod back behind your head and forward, releasing the button at about a 10 o'clock position. You've put the lure where you want it. Now begin to reel it in. Most closed face reels come pre-spooled with 10 pound test line, ideal for almost all angling situations. What about lures and bait? The simplest lures to use, and sometimes the most effective, are soft plastics. Jigs or curly tail grubs catch a variety of fish. An assortment of them in 2 to 3 inch sizes and 1 8 to 3 8 ounce weights should get the job done. Worm rigs are almost foolproof for beginners. Bass will eat them and tend to hold them longer, giving you a chance to set the hook. A variety of hard lures are nicknamed plugs, probably from the day when they were carved from a plug of wood or cork. Surface baits stay on the surface and work best on larger fish that tend to haunt cover and feed on smaller fish. Usually, they're cast to a target, allowed to rest, and then twitched with the rod. Twitch, rest, twitch, rest, twitch, rest is a pretty common and effective tactic for fishing these lures. Shallow running crankbaits are another popular lure found in many tackle boxes. To use, cast out, reel in. Vary the action by stopping, starting, or even twitching the rod as you crank. Deep diving crankbaits are driven down by the long clear bill as you reel them in. Instead of the twitch rest action, steadily reel them in when fish are deeper. When using live bait, you'll need hooks, sinkers, a bobber, and a bucket for worms and minnows. You can buy bait locally, and maybe even get a line on hot fishing spots. You may also want to pick up a fishing map to give you information about local waters, including navigational hazards. For more information on freshwater fishing, visit your local boat dealer or go to discoverboating.com.